So far in our math unit on measurement, we've been focused on inches, feet, and yards. And today we're gonna switch and start talking about another um, system of measuring, which is the metric system. And the metric system uses centimeters and meters instead of inches and feet and yards. Um, and so that's what we're going to be focusing on today. I wanted to review some measuring tips. Um, you're going to need to make sure you're using the right side of the ruler or tool. So on your ruler, we've been focused on the inch side, but today we're gonna to be flipping our ruler over so that we can focus more on the centimeter side. Remember centimeter inch, the centimeters are smaller than the inches. So if you're measuring um, in inches and writing it down as centimeters, that's going to be very different from using the correct unit today, which is going to be centimeters. Um, then you need to line the edge of the object up with the end of the ruler or on zero. So the ruler I was using for inches, it started at zero. This one does not. This one has a little extra plastic there on the end. So I'm going to need to line it up where it says CM instead of at the very end of my ruler today. And then find where the object stops, look at the nearest number to find the measurement. So remember those are your measuring tips, things that you need to keep um, in mind as you are um, measuring your objects today. So I want to talk about a couple of other things. Um, one is that we can measure different parts of an object. So mostly we've been looking at length but we can also measure the height of something. The height of something is how tall it is. Think about your height. Um, that's how tall you are from your feet to your head, right? That's your height. So we can measure height by looking at how tall something is. So for example, with this tree here, I'm going to line up my ruler with zero with the bottom of the tree there. You can see there's a little part hanging over because mine doesn't start at zero. And then I'm going to measure to the tippy top of the tree. And I think you can see right there, the height of this tree is 21 centimeters. If I'm measuring the height of the teddy bear, again, I'm gonna line it on up and this one is nine centimeters. Again, lining it up with zero. A little more than seven, but closest to seven, so seven centimeters. On those, we were finding the height, how tall. Now, on this page, I'm going to be looking at width. And just like it starts with a W, so it is wide, we're going to look at how wide um, these objects are on this page. So height is how tall, width is how wide. Okay, so for width, I'm going to have my ruler going this way because I'm looking at how wide it is. So the width of this gift, line up with zero, look at the closest number would be five. This one would be, line it up, this one is four. The width of the boom box, again, start on zero. Look at the closest, it would be 10. I'm not sure if you can see that, see 10, okay? And then the width of this gift is four. So you need to pay attention to what they're asking you to measure. Um, because sometimes we're looking for how tall something is and sometimes we're looking for how wide it is. Those are both measurements of length, um, but they're in different directions. So most objects have a height and a width, so it's important to um, think about what we truly are measuring. So today you're going to do something similar that you did with inches, except for we're using the other side of our ruler you're going to be in your measurement unit materials week two. So we finished up week one yesterday. Today we're starting with week two and you're going to be measuring these letters, um, the lines with these letters, with your the centimeter side of your ruler and then you will be um, 
putting those numbers down into the um, document on schoolwork to record how long each of those is. So there's two pages of those. And then you will, and they're all kind of mixed up, C's all, all the way over here since it's long. Then you're going to do just like you did with inches, you're going to use your ruler to draw lines. So for example, this one says 10 centimeters. So you start at the dot and you're going to draw a line that's 10 centimeters. This one says eight, start at the dot, draw a line that's eight, 19, and so on. Okay, so you'll draw a line that um, is the length of what the number is over here. So those are your two jobs that you're going to do today. Um, and then you need to finish up the rest of the um, measurement activities that are in schoolwork for you today. Have fun.